when you're walking down the street and you're confident in yourself, you're a warrior. And when people throw spears at you, you block them off. I'm from the vast land of Brooklyn. <laughs> well, my mother's Guyanese and my father is from Suriname. Those are South American countries. In a Guyanese household, it's just all about family and hardworking people. Everybody's just so warm, everybody's so nice. First of all, like, I'm inspired by my mother. I used to just watch her and the things that she had. Like, she was conservative, but she still uh, remained stylish. And she doesn't have to have all these, you know, extra things. She just lets her uh, beauty speak for itself. One of my brothers suffers from autism. I would say that I gain a lot from him. He sees his surroundings differently. He has this language that he expresses and we understand it. And you know, that's what family is all about, is, you know, understanding each other. I study fashion merchandising right now. I want to become a men's fashion designer. I want to add like an avant-garde twist to it, do like hot couture, like things like that. What's going on in my head, like the vision that's going through in my head, I want to make sure that's done. Throughout, you know, elementary school, I never really cared about style like that. The high school that I went to, there was a whole, it was a whole bunch of diversity. I just got inspired by all of that, and I'm like, hmm, I want to do that too. I'm very like bubbly. I'm I'm kind of silly, like random, <laughs> eccentric. I want to bring my personality into the way I dress. What I did is I I really worked with what I had. Like I used to uh, take shirts, buttons, and. Uh, you know, sew them on, that's how, you know, like, I'm inspired, to, you know, that's why I do things like this. I'm wearing a linen shirt with Scrabble letters all over it. I actually saw somebody on the street, he had a, a pin that said, uh, swag, spelled out in, like, Scrabble letters. I took his idea and I uh, branched off onto it and I put it on my, my clothes. For some reason, I just, just like safari and the safari-like outfits. I would just put these tan pants with these boots and pair it off with this bright yellow shirt and these macrame suspenders. And the vibe that I got from it, bro, is that dude from Curious George, I forgot his name, with the big hat. I took a basic work shirt. I took twine and I just wrapped that around the button. These are actually one of my favorite boots. And instead of laces, I just decided to take my uh, twine that I had and I used that as shoelaces instead. You don't usually see hats like this, you know? And um, I just grabbed it right away. As soon as I said, I'm like, uh, that hat is mine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's like this safari trench, and it just has all these wonderful, vibrant colors. This actually has become like my most prized possession. And I have this wooden ring. This wooden ring has been on my finger for like a year and like three months. I like jewelry that's wooden and natural, you know? I got this hat, but originally the hat didn't come with feathers on it. So since I'm just in love and obsessed with feathers, I just decided to tack feathers on the side. Things they're not uh, used to seeing people going out there. So when they see something weird in the street, they're like, okay, uh, what's this guy doing? Who does he think he is? But all in the end, like, you're just embarrassing yourself. I was into anything that was, like, bizarre, like, something, like, you just don't see. That's kind of, like, the explanation for all of this. I like odd things because you can always build a story from it. I have a weird taste in music because like I like artists that aren't afraid to like experiment with different sounds and such. I like a lot of jazz, 90s hip hop, just eclectic music. Wu-Tang is the shit. <laughs> a lot of people gain inspiration from Kanye and I just think that's just amazing. The fact that you have such an impact on people and the fact that people actually want to follow after you, that's, that's, that's powerful, that's power right there. In the past, I always used to like, you know, doubt myself. But then now it's like, what's the reason for doubting yourself? There's no reason for that. There is this saying, I think, therefore I am. If I, you know, if I think I'm great if, and I think I'm going to be great, then I'm great. You shouldn't let people get under your skin like that. And that's how I really learned how to express myself and just be free.